Hello, good morning beautiful people. Um, welcome to today's little 10 minute challenge just to bring a burst into your day, getting you feeling good. So let's start, just give the shoulders a bit of a roll and give the legs a little bit of a shake. Give everything a bit of a shake. So wake yourself up. I'm gonna start off standing today. So just take a moment just to step the feet the hip distance apart and maybe bend into the toes of one foot and the other. Maybe take it in both feet together. Maybe rock from toe to heel. And then outside edge to inside edge. Really feel your feet. And then let them become heavy. Turn the palms to face forwards. And see if you can close your eyes just for a moment or soften the gaze if you don't feel balanced. And just start with those nice three breaths. Last one, a nice big deep breath. Fill yourself up. Let it go. And then open the eyes, give the shoulders a roll. Okay, let's wake the body up. So hands into prayer. Inhale, take the arms out wide, spread the fingers, reach up. Look up to your hands and exhale, bring the hands into your heart. Inhale, out wide and high. Exhale, bring it in. And one last one, inhale, reaching it wide and high. Exhale, coming into the heart. Just pause. And then when you're ready, inhale, reach it up again. Take a hold of the left wrist very gently, draw that arm over to the right side. Inhale through center, switch, opposite side. Inhale through center, exhale, arms wide. Give the shoulders a shrug. And let's take it into some half salutations. So hands in prayer, inhale, reach it up, look up. Exhale, soft knees as you dive forwards. So you're just gonna come to wherever is comfortable. If you're quite high, if you're here, you wanna bend from the hip crease. So send your bum back and bend your knees as much as you need to just to bring the hands low. We'll take a hold of the elbows, let the head drop and just start to have a sway from side to side. So if you can really let the head be heavy, notice if you're hanging, kind of arching here. So let the head really hang down, the chin comes to the chest. And really start to wriggle the waist, the shoulders, bring some space into the spine. And then release the hands to the ground. And with an inhale, bring the hands up onto the shins. So we're just going to lift up a little bit. So the legs can stay slightly bent here. Draw the tummy muscles up, draw the shoulders away from the ears. Start to lengthen the spine, waking the tummy muscles. Exhale, lower it down. And rising up again. Maybe this time bring the hands onto your thighs. See if you can straighten the legs. Tummy muscle lifts up, shoulders draw back. Lengthening, creating strength and space. Keep breathing. And with your next exhale, send it down to your feet, to your ankles. And then push through your feet, take the arms wide as you rise up to stand with an inhale. Look up to your hands and exhale, hands come into your heart. And we do that again, breathing, inhale. Exhale, arms wide, soft knees, take it down. So keep breathing. If you start to feel dizzy, you're not breathing. Inhale, halfway. Straightening the legs if you can, extending through the crown. Exhale, sending it down. And then inhale, arms wide, reach up for the sky. And exhale, bring the hands into your heart. Okay, let's step the feet out wide, wherever you are. And let's turn left toes towards the left. So they're coming out on an angle and the back toes are gonna come in very slightly. Bending into the front knee. See if you can sink the hips down. Don't have to come too low. And then notice if you're leaning forwards, can you bring the shoulders to come over the hips? Take the arms out wide into a warrior two. And breathe here, relax the shoulders down, palms face down. See if you can connect to your breath, feel the inhale and release the exhale. And then with your next exhale, 
let the back hand come onto the back thigh. So you reach up and over with the top arm into a reverse warrior. You can look down or up, your choice. And inhale, bring it back, warrior two. We're gonna straighten the front leg, draw the toes to face forward. So both toes are coming in, both heels are pointing out slightly. And then with the hands on the hips in this kind of superhero stance, see if you can draw the shoulder blades together, let the chest lift, slight drawing in of the tummy muscles, lengthening through the neck. And then from here, nice soft knees. We're gonna hinge it forward, think that halfway lift. Knees can be bent as much as you need to. And you might stay here, you might rest the hands on your thighs, or you might start to slide the hands down the legs, maybe resting on the shins, maybe coming to the ankles or the feet, depending on the space you have. And then see if you can draw the chin to the chest. And then really ground through your feet. So push through the outside edges of your feet and then push into the big toes. So we start to get a little bit of a lift up through the inner thighs. Take another breath. And then slowly keep the chin tucked into the chest as you inhale, start to roll it up. Knees are nicely soft. And you come all the way up to standing very slowly so you don't get dizzy. And if you do get dizzy, just pause, let everything kind of settle back down. Okay, and we're gonna turn right toes out to the right, back toes turn in slightly, and we find our warrior two on this side. So bending into that front knee, try not to let it roll inward. So we're encouraging that hip to open out, and then inhale, arms out wide, palms down, warrior two. Gaze at the front middle finger and soften your shoulders. See if you can draw the tummy muscles in and up. Taking one more breath. And then lower the back hand down as you reverse your warrior. So the right hand comes up and over. We take a nice side bend into the right side of the body. Pushing through your back foot and pushing down through that front foot. Finding your breath. And then bring it back, warrior two. Hands come to the hips, turn the toes in. We go for that wide-legged fold again. So hands on the hips, superhero pose. And then nice soft knees, think up and over. So you're gonna hinge it forwards, wherever feels comfortable for you. And this time we're gonna bring the hands down to the ground. So if you can't reach from here, bend your knees. Stick your bum back. And then right up on your left fingertips or maybe the right, or the left hand is on the floor. Right hand reaches out to the side as you reach up. Maybe you turn the head to follow the hand and as you exhale, lower the hand down and switch. So right fingertips to the floor, left hand reaches up. And exhale, switch. And take it one more time on each side. So inhale, lift. And exhale, soften. Last one, inhaling. And exhale. Okay, from here, on your fingertips, we're gonna bring the heels in, we're gonna bring the toes in, the heels and the toes, and the heels on the toes. Nice soft knees, take a hold of the elbows, let the head hang down. Ragdoll pose. Take a couple of breaths. Maybe you have a wriggle. And then release the hands down. Slowly rise up halfway, hands rest on the shins or the thighs, lengthen, breathe. Notice if you stop breathing, breathe. As you exhale, send it down. And as you inhale, push through the feet, arms wide, rise up, look up to your hands. And exhale, hands come into your heart. Let the hands come down by the hips, palms face forward, close the eyes, take your three breaths. Last one, bring a smile to your lips. <sighs> Let it go, and then we bring the hands together in prayer. Sealing our practice, then we bow the head to the hands, the mind to the body. Notice how you're feeling now. See if you can share some of this 
good feeling with those around you. Namaste.